This uh, uh, it's nine sixteenths. Let's remove the four bolts. separate that now. So you got that out. You can see on the top here where it says top. So we know that that's facing up. That's the top. It's up. So it should come right off. Again, I got some ice in here. Here there was a uh, ice buildup. Now a lot of times the bearing goes on this, so you gotta check the check the impeller inside, clean it all out inside, clean it out here. There's some stuff in there, so th there might have been something that got clogged up in there, especially in there. It's spinning freely now. It doesn't sound bad either, so I'll turn it on. Everything sounds fine. There's two screws in the back. This one here, this one here. So I undo that. And it's gonna be a quarter inch. So we're gonna remove, remove um, we're gonna move this, then we're gonna move this so we can get to the bearing. Once you remove this, and remove this. When you get this far, take that off and this off. I'll show you how to take this off. Once you get that far, we have another video and I'll link it on, uh, I'll link it right above here to show you how to change the bearing. Because it's pretty much all the same, all the pumps. It's just the back's a little different from this one to, you know, there's many different ones. So you take that off. Try to get it out of the way as best you can. Then we're gonna take, we're gonna take that off. So take the two springs off, and then again take some pictures so you know exactly how to do it. Okay, so we're gonna take these two springs off. Now the top ones just slip off. The bottom has a little hole. You put them in. But the tops just you slip them off. Then we gotta. Move this thing out of the way. So what you do is grab as close as you can right there. Just bend it down a bit. Slide out. So when you put it back together, you just push it together, crush it back in. Well, not crush it, but you know what I mean. So just remember how it goes back. You got the weighted part. Okay, and these two little grooves right here, they fit in. And there's two little holes on each side, and they fit in there, or just where it fell out. Once you get that back in there, pull it together. Just get some big pliers and just pull it together. Now we can get to this, we can pull that out. So we can take the impeller off. Now you move this out of the way so you get the screwdriver or the wrench in there better. the front bearing usually the back bearing is fine so it's usually the front bearing so we got to hold that and take the impeller off wrench use this one here hold the back and undo the impeller we need the wrench for that
and you see this groove on the bottom that's for when your seal fails and it, it leaks so it doesn't fill up in here it has somewhere to go so this is the bottom okay that's the top you see the sticker right here sticker it's the bottom and this pops off just get a screwdriver in there and pop it off there you go and there's your seal I just pop that out from the bottom from behind or your uh, seal so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off these four bolts okay take those four bolts off so you just got the last bolt off and just bang the back so just remember how it goes all back together just take pictures now we've had a video on how to pop that out you got to make sure that you take the screw off right here okay so check out our other videos for this um if this applies to any pump doesn't matter if it's a hot tub pump or a, any type of pool pump when you get this far all the motors are exactly the same so you just have to take these this screw off here because it holds this part on the on the bearing and then you have some screws long screws that go straight through and they're all there's four of those okay if you like the video, subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next one.